right, so now I want to talk about a packed bed reactor. And so I want to, I'm going to derive the mole balance for a packed bed reactor. And so I'll just write that down real quick. So difference between a packed bed reactor and some of the other reactors I've been talking about, like the batch and the flow reactors, is that in a packed bed reactor, the reaction takes place on the surface of a catalyst. So the reaction rate is based on the mass of the catalyst rather than the reactor volume. So if you remember in the other reactors, well, for the batch reactor, we're looking at time. For the flow reactors, which is the CSTR and the PFR, we're looking at the volume of the reactor. And so in the packed bed reactor, we're looking at the weight of the catalyst. So because of this, the reaction rate is a little bit different from, is, is calculated, or it's a little bit different from the flow reactor. So I'll just write down the equation. So your reaction rate is equal to moles, well, and then assume you have, so for this, assume you have a reaction that's A to B, and we're looking at A. So RA, moles of A reacted, <coughs> divided by time, multiplied by the weight of the catalyst. And this is often in grams, this is often in seconds. <coughs> and so to derive the mole balance for a packed bed reactor, I think it's easiest to, rather than going from the general mole balance equation to, I think it's easier to do a balance on the reactor itself. So here's the reactor. <coughs> And you have a molar flow rate in. And again, assume we're looking at A. You have a molar flow rate out. Notice yeah, we ha we're looking at weight, so we have a delta W instead of delta V. And so then we have some weight here, and over here we have the weight plus delta weight, so then we have the FA flowing in here, FA out. So then if we do a balance on this, we have in minus out plus generation oops, equals accumulation. So then just writing these in, we know that we have a uh, some molar flow rate in at this weight, so FAW <coughs> minus, and then we have molar flow rate out at this weight here, which is the W plus a change in weight. <coughs> so FAW plus delta W. <coughs> and then we have this generation term, so RA prime delta W, and <coughs> once again we're assuming that this rate is doesn't change with position in order to write it like this, so just so you know that's an assumption we're making here. And then we know that there's no accumulation, so that equals zero. <coughs> and so I just I want to look at the dimensions of actually I already looked at the dimensions of the rate up there. So look at so looking at this again, um, so we have this equation and if we rearrange so we want to rearrange this and divide by delta zero, so we can rearrange this so F a delta W minus F A 
W equals R A prime delta W. <coughs> so then if we take that and we divide by delta zero, or I mean by delta W, so then that goes away. <coughs> and then if we, if you watch the last video on, uh, or if you watch the video on the mole balance for a PFR, this is pretty much the same. So if you think about, if you look at the definition of a derivative, this looks pretty much like the definition of a derivative. So if we take the limit as delta w approaches zero, then we end up with d f a dw equals r a prime. <coughs> and so then that's the differential form of the mole balance for a packed bed reactor. And this can be rearranged and rewritten. So a lot of times what you want to calculate is the weight. So it's easier to use the integral form. So rewriting it in the integral form, you have W equals FA naught, FA, DFA over R, a prime. <clears throat> and if you want to know how to go from this to this, it's pretty much just rearranging the equation. So you can multiply, so you have DFA equals RA prime DW, <clears throat> and then divide the RA over. So rewrite DW equals DFA over RA prime. And then we integrate this, and so the weight is probably going to be from zero to whatever weight. And then your flow rate is going to be, or your molar flow rate is going to be FA naught to FA. So then going ahead and doing the math on this, you end up with W equals FA naught over FA, DFA, over RA prime. So then you end up with that equation. Anyway, that's the mole balance for a packed bed reactor. Thanks.